What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today is just a really nasty rainy day. So today we're going to be hanging out inside. Um, for a better part of the morning, it's only about 1030 right now. So not all morning. For a better part of the morning, I've been awake. I've been going over some of my, uh, going over some of my videos and I've noticed a lot of people have been asking me some questions. Basically stuff like what, what is magnet fishing? Which is actually a common question I've been getting on a magnet fishing channel. Um, what is magnet fishing? What magnet would you recommend to start with? What's your favorite magnet? What's the difference between double-sided magnets and single-sided magnets? And we're going to go over these in this episode. So if you wanted to see some actual magnet fishing, I'm terribly sorry. We are going to be stuck inside right here for probably about the next five to ten minutes. I want to keep this video short because I know sitting inside and just talking to a camera is not the most exciting thing in the world. But I think this is a necessary video, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to knock this out. So I didn't screenshot a lot of the questions. I screenshotted a few, not too many. Um, but one of the questions that I was asked by Mr. Colt Perry four months ago, sorry, Colt, I haven't gotten back to you a little sooner. Um, he said, what do you suggest for beginners? I love to fish as well, and I'd love to start a hobby like this one. That is an awesome question. So the best magnet for beginners. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Brute Magnetics on Amazon. So you're going to pull up your Amazon screen and you're going to type in Brute Magnetics. And that is going to be the company that I recommend. That's the company that I work with almost exclusively. I don't use any other magnets. The only other thing that I do use that isn't related to Brute Magnetics um, is my grappling hook. And that's just because they don't make grappling hooks. If they made a grappling hook, I'd probably use theirs. But I'm scrolling through the Amazon page and it's looking like there's a magnet, a 575 pound magnet for $36.50. As I talk about these magnets, I'll throw a screenshot up there so y'all can see exactly which one I'm talking about. And all these magnets will be linked down in the description if you need help finding them. But this 575 pound magnet by Brute Magnetics, Magnetics, <laughs> by Brute Magnetics, um, it's 2.95 inches, and I think that's a pretty good size. The Unfortunately, with the smaller magnets, they're only like that big. It, I, <clears throat> it's not that I don't think you could find stuff with a magnet the size of a nickel or a quarter. It's just it's going to be a little more difficult. So that's why I'm going to say stay away from those like 75-pound magnets, 100-whatever-pound 100, 100 magnets. I would definitely try to start around 575. Uh, but if you don't want to spend that kind of money, I know there's a cheaper option up here somewhere. If you're looking for the cheapest magnet to get started because you're not really sure if you want to invest into this hobby, I think it's looking like this Brute Magnetics 242 pound magnet. It's 2.36 inches in diameter, uh, but it's 1725. That's a pretty good deal. That will find you almost anything you want to find. You might have a hard time getting some of the bigger stuff up. But that'll, that's good to go. I mean, that right there, it comes with thread locker. That is 100% good to go. I would, actually, I would actually start with that. I would recommend this one right here. So that's what I would recommend for a single-sided magnet. But if you're looking for a double-sided magnet to get started with, they can be a little more expensive. I'm just going to go ahead and let you know right now. But not, not too much expensive, but you got to understand what it is. A double-sided magnet is exactly what it sounds like. you got a magnet on the top and you got a magnet on the bottom. And then you got your eye hole thing on the side and you can drag it across the bottom. It's great for rocks, it's great for, it's great for just throwing it out there and pulling it back slowly across the bottom. So for a double-sided magnet, it looks like Brute Magnetics makes an 800 pound magnet, which means there'd be 400 pounds on each side. And that is selling for $47.95. I think these double-sided magnets are pretty good stuff. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good deal right there, I think. I've always had pretty good luck with those because they're so universal. You can take them to a dock, you can jig them up and down, you can throw it out there and pull it back slowly. That's kind of where the single-sided magnets are a little more limited. I think they get you a better pull. I think you're able to pull up heavier objects with them personally. That's just what I believe. Um, but once you start throwing it out there and dragging it back, it's going to get really gunky and it's just going to get really dirty really fast. And it's not the best for just kind of pulling it back towards you. I think that's a good way to just kind of miss a lot of objects and just kind of disturb the ground and not really get what you want to get. Okay, so for $92.95, you can get a 3,600 pound magnet. It's a double-sided magnet, meaning 
Is that 1,800 pounds on each side? I think so. Wow. That's a lot of magnet, guys. 5.31 inches? Holy smokes. That's like that big. I might have to get me one of them. Goodness gracious. But if you're not really sure if you want to invest into this hobby, 242 pounds at 1725, that's pretty good. That is, that's a pretty good deal. Okay, so now that you got your magnet picked out, what are you gonna do next? What do you need next, right? So you need your rope. We just talked about the rope. You want some 3 8 or the biggest rope you can get through the eye hole, not paracord. Gloves, I know I'm very bad at not wearing gloves, uh, but I would definitely recommend wearing some gloves. And if you don't wear, if you don't wear gloves, Tetanus shots. You're gonna get really familiar with tetanus shots. Uh, so I would just recommend getting gloves. It's a little cheaper of an option. Luckily for a while, I was a construction worker for a company and I got, it seems like two or three tetanus shots a year. So I wasn't ever too worried about that. <laughs> Even though I should have been. Um, so everything you really need to get started, you need, you need your magnet, you need your rope, you need your gloves, oh, and your bucket. You want a bucket or a bucket or, or, or some kind of trash bag. Granted, you can't take all of your items with you because who, want, who wants to take like a 30-foot steel bar and their little Honda Civic down the road? You know, it is what it is. I, I don't recommend leaving your trash there, but sometimes you just can't get it away. And if you can't get it away, try to schedule something with somebody else. You'll be surprised how many people are in your area that will be interested in picking up your scrap. Ah, one last thing, your knife. It's optional, but recommended. I would definitely recommend taking a knife out there magnet fishing. You, you'll more than likely find one pretty quickly, but say your rope, or say your magnet gets stuck to something, and that's it, game over, lights out, you don't get it back, you wanna cut that rope as closely as you can to the magnet, because those ropes are expensive, guys. Believe it or not, six to 10 bucks adds up every time you gotta cut your rope. Another recommended item that I would suggest for people is a grappling hook. Guys, like seriously, grappling hooks are amazing. I have missed so many objects in my life magnet fishing, and I never really realized how helpful a grappling hook would be until I just bit the bull and bought one. But you could easily, easily get by with like a 300 pound magnet and a grappling hook, and that's all you would ever need. Moving forward. So I, I just gotta throw this out there, and unfortunately, uh, I think a lot of people get into magnet fishing not understanding what objects are magnetic and what objects aren't magnetic. I've had a lot of people ask me if I found any silver or gold magnet fishing and, and real silver or gold, unfortunately, is not magnet fishing. So more than likely, you're just finding steel, you're finding iron, stuff like that. You're not really gonna find any good jewelry out there. I just wanted to throw that out there because I'd hate for someone to start investing into this hobby and and they expect to find some gold and find some silver and it's just it's just not going to work out like that. Unfortunately, it's not going to work out like that whatsoever. It is what it is. You'll find a lot of knives, you'll find a lot of tools, but you're not going to find any gold, you're not going to find any diamonds. Sorry guys. But a few videos ago, someone asked me, "What do you consider when thinking about trying a new spot?" And that's that's a great question. Some things that I consider are how old is it? If it's a new spot, if it's a year old, Unfortunately, it's probably not gonna be holding too many objects. A fishing dock or a road that's only a year old is more than likely not gonna be holding any good old stuff. Another factor to consider when approaching a new spot is how busy is it? If it's super busy, if it's a super populated area, uh, like some of those boat ramps, or some of those boat docks near your house that are just constantly filled with people day and night, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, around me, there's Jordan Lake, and there's just one dock there. Almost any day of the week, regardless of the time it is, be two o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the afternoon, there'll be a handful of people out there just fishing. Those are great spots to go to. You gotta think, a lot of people equals a lot of potentially dropped stuff. Um, at that one fishing dock, I found lanterns, I found fishing poles, I found knives, and I don't even think it's that old, but it's just that traversed, there's just that many people there on any given night. You know what? That's it. That's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was a short, quick to the point video. I wasn't trying to bore anybody. I was just trying to throw some real facts out there towards people who really might not know. I, I would really love to help people get started in this awesome, fun little hobby. <laughs> and if there's any questions that I didn't answer directly in this video and you want me to do a follow-up video, 
ask me down in the comments below and I can screenshot your comment and I can put it onto the screen and your name will pop up there asking the question and we can go ahead and get it worked out. But alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You're all beautiful. You're all amazing. I love you so much. I'll see you next time.